Welcome back to Mr. Cho's Garage. Tonight we're going to go over these little guys right here. Some thread inserts, also known as Healy Coil. We're working here on a Honda motor tonight where unfortunately somebody decided to strong arm it or bolt a little too much and done gone pulled the block out with the bolt. If you run into this problem, you are in a bad way. What you're going to do is you're going to clean all that material off that bolt, get nice and clean. This here is a subject. We've got multiple uh, injuries on this block. I've already repaired one right here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good shot on that guy or not, that light. Anyway, that one's been done already, and this is the buggered up one. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to do a thread insert repair on this here aluminum block. Um, you're going to have your thread insert tool. I've already got it on there. This is the device to insert the thread into the block. It's got this here little uh, teat on there that's going to break off. Um, after you get it installed, you can see where it's already been uh, stress relieved. Uh, we'll get over that in there later. Um, but anyway, uh, you're going to have your it's a STI tap. Uh, it's going to be a Healy coil repair. This is a different size. <clears throat> this is going to tap it to the correct size for our insert. Our insert is a 10 by 125. Um, it says to use a drill bit size of a 13 30 seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got my 13 30 seconds. And uh, here we go. Get my unit down here. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and just drill that hole out. Uh, not all the way through, but just till you are at the end of the uh, thread point on the inside. So here we go. Pretty much till that bit stops and you don't force it anymore. Go ahead and double check my bolt here and we're good. Okay, so I've gone hit. Oh, good lord, I almost dropped it. I've got her all hogged out. Oh, dang, light. Anyway, here it's all ready to go. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're gonna put a little bit of air into that guy. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll throw on the Mr. Cho's uh, vacuum. Here we go. Uh, getting the hole prepped up here. Now we are going to go ahead and get our unit. Get my, oh god dang. So let's focus in here. I'm gonna set this down. See if we can get a better shot here. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her straight in there. You want to go uh, straight with your uh, tap as uh, best as possible. You got to get that lined up straight because you want your insert to go straight into the existing porthole. Huh. Anyway, yeah. And you're gonna run your tap in. And basically, tap it out for that insert that's going to be put in there. And this bolt hole is for a, oh, it's like a shelf bolt. It's got the, uh, the little uh, extension there. God dang, light, you're killing me. Oh, that don't help nothing. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so, it's got that there... Uh, that ridge right there so I've got to get that thread insert uh, quite far in there it's gonna go in there pretty deep about uh, uh, you can see where that one starts there about uh, half an inch in so we've got to tap her in uh, quite far pretty much run her until she stops oh and that's it my socket doesn't fit very well uh oh here we go we're running in trouble Oh man, I need a cameraman bad. God dang, light. Sorry folks. This is a terrible video. Going as quick as I can. I know you all don't want to sit here and watch guy talk. And just do nothing but I am doing something but this is not a quick process uh, you do need to use a uh, precision on this um, 
repair. Uh, some people are the faint of heart on this one. Let's think, oh geez, I got a stripped hole. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, there is. That's why they call it a thread repair. It just takes time. Uh, it's, it's not too bad once you've uh, done it. Uh, when somebody gives you something like this and says, hey, I need you to work on something, and then you f find out you got stripped holes, well, yeah, that can really piss you off because then you're extra time into it. The idea is to get your tap, uh, your hole cleaned out very, very well because you've got to put your insert in there and you don't want to have any material that's going to foul this up or distort it when you go in because this is, you got to kind of, it's a one shot, one kill kind of deal. If you don't get it in there correct, you're pulling it back out and you're doing it all over again. And so you want to do the best you can the first time. This is a first time around kind of deal. So I'm going to go ahead and run her back in again now that everything's all cleaned out and there's no more extra debris in there. You pretty much get to the point where you want to just be able to spin it in with your fingers. And if you can't spin it in with your fingers, it's not good. So you're going to just run her in. You want it to be a smooth transaction in and out because I've already played this game. Bottomed out. Call the hang. Some people like to use like a cutting oil or something like that. Well, yeah, it's good, you know, if you're doing steel, but this is aluminium. You, you ain't got a strong arm it. You don't need no cutting oil on aluminium. It's already soft. That's why it's already blowed out because somebody strong armed it one too many times. Anyway. So, yeah. Like I said, this is something that is, you got to just take your time, finesse. You've got to just use a lot of care when you do this. Some people just got to wing stuff and get all crazy and fast. I got to hurry it up. This is not a hurry project. That's why I'm going over it multiple times. See, it's getting easier and easier now. That way when I put my, my thread insert in there, it's going to go right in with no problems. It's just going to be like butter. Because remember, you just made a new hole for oversized for your insert. All dang. That's the guy. It's going to be a little rough coming back. Don't get me wrong, but that's pretty dang good. I'm happy. Here we go. All right. So we got our thread insert here. We're going to go ahead and get this guy prepped. Uh, you do want to use, um, I use Loctite on mine. Um, I put a little bit of Loctite on there. And then I just spread it nice and evenly. Don't want to get too wild with it. Because you know it's going to go through the other side and then you don't want to lock tight your bolt in there that's the other thing I like to do too is you're gonna go ahead and put that guy in there and you're gonna be very gingerly with this here starting that in there make sure she takes there she goes that's just makes it so much easier when you go back and forth with that there tap and you get those threads nice and cleaned out because I mean Look, I just put it right in there with my fingers. Now pull back, make sure I got her in there deep enough. See, remember that I got that shoulder bolt and it's not in there to where I want it. I want to go in there a little bit farther. So I'm going to run this back in and it's going to catch that end of it again of that helicoil. And I'm going to run her in some more. Back, back out. Other ones you can just run them in until they stop, till they bottom out and you're good. But this is, like I said, this bolt, I got to have it recessed in there because that their shelf of that bolt's got to be able to go into the block a little bit too. So uh, we're in there now. Um, I don't know if you can see, but oh dang, this is terrible. Focus. There we go. So that's got that insert in there now. 
and that their little teeth that's sticking up you can see that that's gonna end up busting off uh, when I put the bolt in there if it breaches all the way it'll break that off it's okay there's plenty of room behind it I'm not worried about it uh, if you are worried about it you can wait for that Loctite to set up a little bit and you can break it off with like a flathead screwdriver you just pop it in there and it'll come right out um, but now we have um, gone ahead and repaired that third bolt hole oh man get her out of there so look it's like butter in there now All dang. That's Mr. Cho's uh, thread repair on their uh, aluminum. Um, and like I said, you, you definitely want to take your time with these. Um, you, you will screw them up. Um, I screwed one up last night, and uh, you know it, it just happens. Uh, you know you've got you've got extras. Just take your time, finesse, run that tap in multiple times in and out. Make sure it's clean, ready to go. And, uh, and you have it. You've done gone repaired yourself that there screwed up hole from a strong arm. And, uh, and you're good to go. You can put your bolt back in there and torque it back to spec. And, and you're uh, worry free. All right. Uh, uh, thank you again for uh, tuning into Mr. Cho's Garage. And uh, we'll just uh, keep trying to send you stuff as we work on stuff. And uh, that's how we get down. Thank you.